The Brinks Company is an American security and protection company headquartered outside of Richmond, Virginia. Its core business is Brinks Inc. It spun off its Brinks Home Security operations into a separate company Broadview Security in 2008. The Brinks brand and reputation span around the globe. In 2013, its international network serves customers in more than 100 countries and employs approximately 134,000 people. Operations include approximately 1,100 facilities, and 13,300 vehicles. The company emerged from the Pittston Company and changed its name to the Brinks Company in 2003. Topic. Operations Brinks is popularly known for its bullet-resistant armored trucks which carry money and valuable goods once used to transport the Hope Diamond from an auction to the buyer's home. Brinks is a provider of security services to banks, retailers, governments, mints and jewelers. Founded in 1859 by Perry Brink of Chicago, Illinois, Brink's business evolved from local armored transportation services to providing corporate financial logistics and international secure transportation. In 1962, Brink's was acquired by Pittston, a coal company. Burlington Air Express was acquired in 1982. Brinks Home Security was started in 1983. Pittston sold off its coal assets in the 2000s and renamed the company Brinks. The home security unit was also spun off. A significant portion of Brinks business is conducted internationally, with 82% of $3.9 billion in revenues earned outside the United States in 2013. The majority of Brink's consolidated revenues in 2013 was earned in operations located in nine countries, each contributing in excess of $100 million of revenues. The 2013 revenues from these countries totaled $3 billion or 79% of consolidated revenues. These operations, in declining order of revenues, were the U.S., France, Mexico, Brazil, Venezuela, Canada, Colombia, Argentina and the Netherlands. In January 2012, Brinks acquired Kiops, SaaS, a provider of logistics software and related services in France, for approximately $17 million. This acquisition gave the company proprietary control of software used primarily in cash in transit and money processing operations in France. On January 31, 2013, Brinks acquired Brazil based Reed Transacos Eletronicas Ltda Reedatrel, for approximately $26 million. Reedatrel distributes electronic prepaid products, including mobile phone airtime, via a network of approximately 20,000 retail locations across Brazil. Reedatrel's strong distribution network supplements Brink's existing payments business, ePago, which has operations in Brazil, Mexico, Colombia and Panama. Brinks sold one of its core operations, Bax Global, a logistics and transportation solutions company for U.S. $1.1 billion to Deutsche Bahn on January 31, 2006. Bax Global used to be known as Burlington Air Express. Discontinued operations 
In November 2010, Brink's former Cash in Transit CIT operations in Belgium filed for bankruptcy, after local union employees rejected a restructuring plan, and was placed in bankruptcy on February 2, 2011. Brinks deconsolidated the Belgium subsidiary in 2010. In 2012, Brinks agreed to sell its cash in transit operations in Germany and Poland, and event security operations in France, and the company completed the divestiture of its guarding operations in Morocco, in December 2012. In May 2014, Brinks US decided to cease their cash in transit operations throughout Australia. Linfox Armagard made an offer to purchase Brinks Australia's CIT operations, and Brinks is continuing their precious goods logistics business within Australia. Brinks Home Security Brinks had a business line in home security named Brinks Home Security that accounted for 15% of Brinks revenue in 2008. It decided that year to spin the business off into a separate publicly traded company in order to focus on its other businesses. The company rebranded as Broadview in 2009 with a massive advertising campaign. Broadview was acquired and merged into the ADT Corporation in 2010. In 2018, Brinks re entered the business through a trademark licensing deal, recreating the Brinks Home Security brand. Robberies and incidents Topic 1950 Great Brinks Robbery The Great Brinks Robbery was an armed robbery of the Brinks building at the corner of Prince Street and Commercial Street in the north end of Boston, Massachusetts, on the night of January 17, 1950. Led by Boston small-time criminal Tony Fats. Pino, 11 men broke in and stole $1,218,211.29 in cash, and $1,557,183.83 in checks, money orders, and other securities. At the time, it was the largest robbery in the history of the United States. Skillfully executed with only a bare minimum of clues left at the crime scene, the robbery was billed as the crime of the century. All 11 members of the gang were later arrested, and all were paroled and released by 1971, except for Joseph Big Joe McGinnis, the originator of the heist, who died in prison. Despite ongoing efforts by the Federal Bureau of Investigation and local authorities, only $58,000 of the initial $2.7 million stolen was ever recovered. Topic: 1981 attempted robbery. On October 20, 1981, members of the Weather Underground Organization and Black Liberation Army attempted an armed robbery of a Brinks armored car in Nanuet, New York. The robbery resulted in a shootout that left two police officers, Edward O'Grady and Waverly Brown, and a Brinks security guard, Pete Page, dead. Page's partner, Joe Trombino, was severely wounded in the gun battle but survived. He later died in the World Trade Center during the September 11 attacks in 2001.
1983 Brinks Matt robbery On November 26, 1983, there was an armed robbery at a warehouse near London's Heathrow Airport, operated by Brinks Matt, a former joint venture between Brinks and the London-based company Matt Transport, which specialised in the transportation of valuable goods. Three tons of gold bullion worth £26 million was stolen. Most of the gold has never been recovered. Topic: 1993 New York robbery. 7.4 million dollars was stolen from the Brinks Armored Car Depot in Rochester, New York, the fifth largest robbery in US history. Four men, Sam Miller, Rev. Patrick Maloney, former Rochester police officer Thomas O'Connor, and Charles McCormick, all of whom had ties to the Provisional Irish Republican Army, were accused. 2008. D.B. Tubers. Brinks robbery. On September 30, 2008, in Monroe, Washington, a Brinks armored car pulled up to make a delivery to the Bank of America. A landscaper, who was working the grounds and wearing a blue shirt, blue hat, and yellow safety vest, approached the armored car guard, pepper sprayed him, stole $400,000 in cash, and escaped on an inner tube. When police arrived, they found the bank's parking lot was full of men wearing clothing identical to the mysterious robbers. All were hired by a phony ad, placed on Craigslist by a culprit the media dubbed D.B. Tuber. After famed hijacker, D.B. Cooper, instructing them to show up at the bank at the same time, wearing a blue shirt, blue hat, and yellow safety vest. Months later, the FBI received a tip from a very attentive homeless man who had witnessed a practice run weeks prior to the robbery. DNA evidence later convicted former college football player Anthony Curcio of the crime. 2013 Brussels Airport Diamond Heist On 18 February 2013, eight masked gunmen, in two cars with police markings, stole approximately €38 million Euros worth of diamonds from a Swiss-bound Fokker 100 operated by Helvetic Airways. The Fokker 100 was on the apron at Brussels Airport, Belgium, just before 2000 Central Europe time. The heist was accomplished without a shot being fired. 2014 return of lost money bag In May 2014, California resident Joe Cornell found a Brinks bag with $125,000 inside. Cornell saw the bag of cash accidentally fall out of the back of a Brinks transport car as it drove over the railroad tracks in downtown Fresno. Cornell returned the bag of cash claiming, It was the right thing to do. Brinks thanked the man for his honesty with a $5,000 reward and a $5,000 donation in Cornell's name to the Salvation Army, where he works. Topic: Recent news. 
In October 2015, Brinks activist investor Starbird Value LP announced it had raised its stake in the company to around 12.4%. Later that year, Brinks responded to Texas RFI 212P with their perspective on a solution for Texas HB 483, establishing the Texas Bullion Depository. In April 2017, it was announced that Brinks had chosen the FN Herstal FN 509 9mm to be the new sidearm for their armed guards. August 2018 Brinks Inc. acquired Dunbar Armored for $520 million.